What's up guys, this is Sean Tan and today we are in Montre Eco Sanctuary. What's up guys? So just before we start the tour, right, just to let people know that how tight is the security. So every owners will be given a QR code and it's required to be scanned by the designated visitor. So when Peter showed me around, he is not the owner because he's a real estate agent. So he cannot bring me in. Meaning a visitor cannot bring a visitor, which makes a lot of sense. Okay, so just run through the spec. This is 2743 square feet and it is 36 by 85 feet. The reason why I'm referencing is because there are different types around this area. I think there's basically four types. So this one is 36, so that's like 40 feet wide and there's one more 40 plus, which is like crazy. It's so huge. So before you even come in, right, if you can see from the back, when your, your build up is calculated from this line okay but then eco world which is the developer itself they are giving all this so owners can actually park here but this is also considered common properties where it's under the maintenance of the developer which including trees like this turfing like this and landscape so now let's go and see the unit There's a lot of openings because the one we saw is an end unit. So this one is a semi D. So you look at the amount of openings. Look at the construction beams. So they are very well thought of. So it's very tidy. You don't see a lot of edge, right? And this would most probably be your dining. And it's once you open the door, you can directly see your so the only wall you will reach would be the kitchen wall or it's either the back uh, ground floor bedroom wall, right? This gives you the perception that the space is huge. However, older times, right, the house has more partition, which is walls. Now people are going for more openings. That's why structure tends to be deeper. Structure columns or structure beams, right? Tends to be thicker and thicker and uh, more thick. Okay, remember that makes sense. Moving on, we will go to the ground floor bedroom first, which is amazingly big. Anyone who gets who sleeps here, right? It's so awesome because they can directly go out to the porch itself, to the garden, and enjoy the greenery. And if you go behind, you will directly see the gardens. Moving on to the kitchen, and you will see that it's way bigger than the terrace one. It's way longer. And there's directly an opening at the end that also connects you out to the garden itself. Okay, so this one is also the same, but these movers because it's a strata development, you cannot change this. Next to the kitchen will be the maid's room. So this is the maid's room and he or she has their own toilet. Okay, so they have their own toilet with their own openings. So it's a concern that most, a lot of owners do not know how to put their oven, where to put their sink. How to do up a cabinet? Is it all the way upwards or is it like this, right? 
because as compared to the one, the terrace version in Terraza, uh, the owner kind of sound off his concern that he do not know how to how to do up the kitchen. Let's say if you really don't know how and it's really troublesome and you don't like it, talk to the developer and tell them like, hey, maybe you can you like provide a interior design drawing for kitchen, the layout, just to let me have a rough estimation. Most probably they will have because, and they have all in technical drawings, which means they have all the measurements. So next to the staircase itself, there's a gas toilet, right? So it kind, it's new. I'm very new to this concept, having a toilet next, but then on top of the stairs. So just show you what I mean. It's on top of the stairs that goes into the toilet. Once you climb up already, the first thing you will see is the void and this gives you very huge opportunities to actually put in your chandeliers all the way down to your dining. It's going to be so grand. Now we are in the master bedroom which is crazily huge, right? Just like this, you see how huge it is. Right, so it's huge, it's huge, but then if you notice, like, uh, there's a lot of orange, orange stickers. Those are the spots that the developer needs to fix because they are marked by the owner. Okay, let's check out the master bathroom. Ooh, that's a bathtub. So the basin, the best top, I love tops. So the color matching of the tiles and the bathtub. Upstairs besides the master bedroom, there's another two more rooms for your kids and all of them come with their own ensuite toilet as well. It means that they have their own toilet. Then this is their balcony. Unlike the unlike the Traza, they need to share their balcony, but this one I have my own balcony. The other room itself was it's actually way big, like slightly bigger and they have their own toilet as well so if you have not watched the, the updated housing technology the updated ones uh, it's going to explain like how toilets and how people are thinking more 3D where your toilet now has ultra high ceiling for ventilation and daylighting purposes okay I think this actually frees up the entire front for rooms to have openings facing outside because the room is only available, eh? it's only valuable when it has openings to the external like this. of promoting community living right besides that's the whole spirit of strata title there's not a real partition between neighbors of semi-dees and this is the part where all your rubbish and refuse and TMB or your external water filters all needs to be in this kind of locations which including your letterbox okay so now this unit is asking 1.8 million and uh, corner lots for Terraza is already asking for 1.6 so 1.6 and 1.8 200,000 your call okay guys so that's for the house tour and uh, let's go to the clubhouse okay so we are now in the clubhouse and let's go check it out If you guys have seen the Arashia review and the Bayan review of Tropicana Aman, right, you know that this lake and basketball court 
as well as the common playground, right? You'll be like kids' heaven. But Eco World also has this private clubhouse that is only Montreux residents can, can use. Check out the pool. So one thing to take note is also, wait, I'm walking about this. So one thing to take note as well would be the extensiveness of landscape. Okay, so if you look at kind of this, the landscape actually blends in with all the materials used as a common shower area. And that's the changing room and washroom, kids pool, okay. And then this is also the kids' playground. So just in case your house is not big enough for all your family members or friends, right? You can actually rent out this private lounge at the clubhouse because I think people are reserving so we gotta make this quick. You can have this space for rent. And you can rent up this space where you can let them enjoy external room, external space along with communal dining. The ladies can cook together or men and you guys can have a very grand dinner at the dining area. So security is a concern and how Eco World address that is by fancy fences and a huge ass surveillance camera, okay? Then also you have a slope treatment as well where if you can see the slope is actually higher on uh, Eco Century land and it cascades down into the lower public areas. So that's how they actually manage security better without compromising anything or your feel because every time you put all paga then you feel like you're in jail. So I think that's all for the tour. You checked out the clubhouse, you checked out your unit and it's now time for Sean Tech 3 on 3. Point number one I like would be the overall... Uh, I think the work done by the design team is excellent. What I mean by excellent is the facade the architects needs to work with the facade ID person or the ID person as well as the landscape person. So the hardscape, how they blend in with the softscape and the ID treatments like the colour of the facade which is like the light brown, then the fencing needs to match, then the external fencing needs. Point number two to take note would be the security features. I think that would be a super plus point that even they are in integrating QR system where you I need to scan in myself and a visitor cannot bring in a visitor so your agents cannot bring another buyer that easily. Point number three would be it's a home. It's not an investment property, it's a home. What do I mean is that uh, I think in the short term wise, although you have already capital appreciation, but if you look at the facilities, when you really rewind yourself on the way back, right? When you go to work, then you actually come back and you unwind everything. Three things I don't like. Number one, too bad it's strata tighter, right? But if it's not strata tighter, right? Hey, wait, let you see the security guard. Hello. Point number two would be the exorbitant maintenance fees that we, you will need to pay. But then, you gotta, when you value maintenance fees, right, like what you're paying for, it's again landscape, security, surveillance, maintenance, clubhouse, cleanliness. Last of all would be the accessibility because SKVE is not completed yet and even if I come from Subang, it's like a very very far away place. In conclusion, I really do think that Eco World's home because they have a thing to prove around the residents here because it's one of their very first projects around. They have proved themselves in Sati Alam, they have proved themselves many times in high rises Kota Kamning and Shortified Living is one of the new ones and I'm glad that they managed to pull it off. In my opinion, they pull it off exquisitely. So I think in conclusion, if you are looking for a home, you might consider here, which is a new address, because it still have a lot of potential to grow. What I mean is again, with all the high, if the highway is completed, if the schools are completed, there are a lot of international school coming in. 10B is already going to operate. There's a lot of new international school, I just don't know what's the name. Anyway, let me find out and I'll put in down the link below. If you really like this video, like it, share it and even subscribe for more property reviews like this. This is Sean Tan and I will see you guys again soon. Ciao!